And welcome back to Soda City Live. As the saying goes, self-love is the best love. And a local self-acceptance coach is gearing up to host a book signing for her collection of self-acceptance books. Joining me today is author and self-acceptance coach Whitney Wilson and her daughter, Carmen. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, so glad to have you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. I am so excited to have you on the show. <laughs> and it's so nice to meet you, Miss Carmen. <laughs> so I um, want to ask before we get into um, this book, tell us about what you do as okay. an acceptance coach. What is an acceptance coach? So a self-acceptance coach is someone who teaches someone how to accept themselves after trauma, ridicule, and rejection. Um, after the turmoil of being picked on and teased, now they know longer how to accept themselves. And so after that, I come in and show them the road of going forward and accepting who they are after they've been shown how not to. So that's basically what I do. I love that. And, and now you have this collection of books. Yes. Where are they all catered towards children? Because I know you have one of your books here with you, Pretty Girl. Pretty yes. Girl. So this one, Pretty Little Girl, You Are Good Enough, Building a Barrier in Her Belief System, that one is geared towards the six-year-old. Mm. And uh, that teaches her how to accept themselves before the mm. opposing opinions of other people. Uh, the next one that I have is for the teenagers, Pretty Little Girl, I Hear Your Cry, Gaining Acceptance by Any Means. That's uh, uh, the phenomenon of what happens when you're trying to gain acceptance and everything you'll do to get it. And then the third book I have is Great Woman Arise. Your purpose is calling you. So now when you're adult, you know who you are and you're going after who you were created to be. How wonderful yes. is that? So your books pretty much take, uh, it, it'll, it'll take a woman through yes. every phase of her life. Yes, so exactly. there is literally a book for every phase yes. of your life. And now, um, Come this uh, upcoming week, you're going to be doing a book signing. Yes. And not only are you doing a book signing for this book that you have here, and let's show our uh, viewers, let's show them the book cover here. Yes. But you're going to also be crowning Absolutely. princesses. So tell us about what that is. Right. So, um, I went through a lot of ridicule and rejection as a little girl, and I knew what it felt like to not feel good enough because of colorism, rejection, and turmoil. Um, while on social media, I came across uh, a few uh, parents who were going through a lot with their children being picked on and teased in school in the same way I was. Um, and then God gave me the idea to acknowledge them for who they are. Um, and they've you know, been looking at themselves as not good enough. And so I don't just want this to be a book signing, I want this to create a space so they can start learning and growing about who they are by accepting themselves and looking at other people tell them they're good enough. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Now we're going to talk to Miss Carmen here. So uh, Miss Carmen, did you help mommy with this book? What are some things that you like out of this book? Um, like the um, picture on the back of her. You like the picture of mommy on the back? <laughs> Okay, yeah. well, mommy is definitely serving in the back of this book, <laughs> but this little girl on the front of the book kind of looks like someone to me. Who does she look like to you? Myself. She looks <laughs> like you? As a mom yes. and, and, and being an acceptance coach, when it comes to raising your daughter, what are some things that you do as a coach and as a mom to kind of help her in this phase in her life? Constantly affirm her constantly make sure that she knows she's good enough. Uh, as we say it now, gas her up, you know, <laughs> uh, make sure she's pretty. I let her be herself. Uh, we cut the music on, we laugh, we create a space to where she knows she's accepted. Uh, whenever she comes to me with what she wants to do, I don't bombard her with an opposing opinion of myself. But I accept that um, along with my other children and I just let them be who they are. I just let them be who they are um, because that's one of the things that they struggle with already when it comes to their peers, school, uh, sports and stuff. They have to weigh themselves against everything else that deems better than them. Uh, the last thing I want to do is uh, my children being in my home um, and at home thinking they aren't good enough and they have to compete like they do in school. And oh. so just creating a space. That is so beautiful. Yes. Now, tell, and I want to look through this book yeah, a little absolutely. bit. So these are all affirmations. Yes, yeah, so it's 50 poems uh, written to uh, little girls ages six and up. It does not have a color or creed or race. That's just my perspective. Um, and I created it so not only could the little girl read it, but so her mom can read it, her grandmother, or whoever her caregiver is. Um, because that's one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, also create a space for mom and baby or grandma and baby to spend that person 
personal time together because a lot of times what happens is the voices on the outside become the voice on the mm. inside and that outweighs all of the voices and so if the voice at home is louder than the voices in the street at school and with all these other things then we have a fighting chance of getting her to accept herself that is beautiful now um, we are having to wrap up here but tell our viewers how they can get a hold of this book they can get a hold of that book on Amazon um, it is books by Whitney D Wilson that's all they would have to type in books by Whitney D Wilson and it would pop right up awesome yes. well Whitney thank you so much for joining Absolutely. me and Carmen thank you so much for joining me as well we have the details for that book signing and the the uh, princess or excuse me the little girl signing excuse me I'm, my words today <laughs> the okay. little girl um crowning and yes. that'll be at new new nation ministry 3109 percival road saturday june 3rd at 1 p.m yes. and it sounds like it's going to be an amazing event is there anything um any other additional details about this uh signing or event that anyone needs to know anyone is invited um, it's not closed off to anything or anyone. Anyone can come and bring their pretty little girls. Come get the book signed. Be in the atmosphere. I'll be telling more of my story there. And just put the little girls in an atmosphere where they're loved and accepted. I love it. Yes. Well, I want to thank you too for joining me again today. We'll have the details on where you can find this book on our website, SoCityLive.com. Be sure to stick with us. We have more coming up after the break. Mm -hmm.